What's up, y'all? I man, I cannot believe it's already winter. Look at this. All the ground is all frozen. I got smoke coming from my mouth. Anyways, in this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how Pierre makes bouncy melodies and drums for Playboy Cardi. Without further ado, let's get into it. Second time recording the same video. I love it. You know what? Let's make sure that we're actually recording. Yeah, we are. This is the second time I'm recording the same video. Yes, you heard me correctly this time. And also, peep the setup. But anyways, for a pure beach, I like to go a little bit faster than the normal range. So from 140 BPM all the way up to 160 BPM, I really like those. So I'm in Electro X here, and I have this sound. It's just like a really ambient kind of pad sound. The main goal in mind here is to just get a bouncy melody going. So what I did was I had a three note chord. So I press Control B. And I took the same chord and I just raised it up. So I go up to here. I think I raised this up one octave too. And then we go down. And then I got this same chord and I just put it right here. And does it sound normal because I have on channel one, a gross beat filter on the side chain effect and then a gross beat filter of halftime. This is what it sounds like without both of those, by the way. Now let's move on to the second melody. So I want to go here and I just want to do copy and paste of this into this X band preset. So I'm basically just going to cut it in half right here. See how this sounds now. I'm gonna add that right there. Add right there. So now we kind of have that basic bounce of the melodies going. Next, let's go to another Electro X sound that I chose out. This is it right here. Right, so I'm pretty sure that we have all of our melodies down so far. Well, let's start to move on to the drums from now. If you don't have any Pierre kits or like Cardi kits or anything like that, I, you're gonna need to get some. Just go get some off YouTube or Reddit. Uh, White Mail, I believe. Yeah, White Mail has some really good free drum kits and stuff on there. So definitely go cop some of his kits on there. They're all free. And just go to Reddit as well. I'm gonna get this 808. You get really basic sounds. Two step the hi hats, and then we're gonna layer the clap. Now we're gonna go to our first 808. I already know this is tuned on C. Now we have that first drum pattern down. Now I'm gonna go to the second one, and this is gonna be the way harder one, the way better one. I already, I'm telling you right now. In the last video, I was getting so turned up just from the 808 of this one. God damn. All right, let me just lay this out. And 
now that we have the basics down, we're going to need to, of course, add person, all these different effects and stuff like that that Pierre likes to add in his kind of beats. I know where I'm going to put this right here. Now, one thing that I like to do with my hi-hats is I like to just, or for these kind of beats is I like to just take out the second one right there. I still have a few more things that I want to add. For example, this kick here. Let's just layer this right now, actually. We're going to go to the one half beat. Ba, ba, ch, ba, 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 ch, ba, ba, ba. in the beginning as well was this FX right here. Let me just sample out this drum pattern for you real quick and then we're gonna lay this out. All right, so this is the first drum pattern right here. We have the second 808 right here. And then of course we have all the melodies here. Like I said, I can't stress this enough. Build up a bounce with your melodies and it is going to be so much better. Like for the drums and the whole entire rest of the beat. Just build a good bounce with your melodies and that's going to it's gonna set it off, man. Uh, you guys will probably hear some tidy ups in the final beat and all that maybe like another melody or different drum effects of some sort anyways all i have to do is lay this out and then i'm done so thank you all so much for watching all the way to the end i really appreciate it and i hope that you guys learned something in this tutorial hopefully everything went well so i don't have to record this for a third time but thanks again catch you on the next video coming very very soon i'm out